Hey guys, so it is sunny, it is hot, it has been hotter than hell this past week. I have been in this pool pretty much every day. Yesterday was kind of like a non-stop thunderstorm, so I actually didn't go in it yesterday. But otherwise, as you maybe can tell from my tan, I have been in this baby. I have been loving her so much. I am just so grateful that it is all ready and it's not even July yet and so we've got you know a few months and by we I really mean me hubby is not a swimmer although you know he might get in when the grandkids come and visit and such so how does it get any better than this I have had so many tears of gratitude like the space that this just gifts me I just anyway I could go on and on something else I want to talk about today though which is money <laughs> and if you've listened to this week's radio show it's all about PTSD with money and um, I highly recommend listening in if that reads at all <clears throat> one of the things that I actually don't talk about in the radio show because I you just never popped to talk about but it did for this video was a question that I heard Gary who's the founder of Access Consciousness ask somebody in in class or give somebody in class to for them to kind of run for themselves and it was what would it take to have peace with money and it was such a different space because often it's like what would it take to have more money what would it take to have you know more money than i can spend what, like there's all sorts of different ways like in terms of questions for money of course but that had a totally different spin on it like what would it take to have peace with money. And I use it and have ever since a lot, especially when I'm not choosing peace with money. If you listen to the radio show, you'll know um, for a few months here, not that long ago, I was choosing not peace with money. Um, and, and I was using the question, but I wasn't really looking to change it um, until I was, so how does it get any better? So it's just this question that can, can gift you so much space because ultimately, no matter what, it's what we'd all like, right? Like whether you have a billion dollars in the bank account or you have minus a billion dollars in the bank account, we're ultimately all looking for peace with money. Yeah, like peace with money. <sighs> so what would it take to choose peace with money? So anything that doesn't allow you to choose peace with money for all eternity, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, put, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And what energy, space, and consciousness can you and your sweet body be to be with a peace with money that you truly be? <sighs> anything that doesn't allow that to show up as if by magic, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, put, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And I know if you haven't done the How to Become Money workbook, um, which again is an Access Consciousness book, this might not make sense to you. And maybe if you've done it, it still doesn't make sense to you, but we actually be money. We are energy, space, and consciousness. We be money. So peace with money is what's natural for us. Upset with money, crazy with money, um, sadness with money, all that other stuff is, is absolute opposite of what is natural for us. So peace with money truly is a choice. I mean, everything's a choice. Sadness with money is a choice too, but like peace with money. So what choice could you make today that would actualize as peace with money for all eternity for you? <sighs> Anything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, receive, and choose that. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, shorts, boys, neons. And now I'm going for a little swim. So I will look forward to chatting with you next week.